Assalamualaikum My name is Muhammad Ali Fitri bin Ahmad I will present uh, the chapter 1 and the chapter 2 Hi, Assalamualaikum My name is Nur Hazim Abitushuri I will present about the results and discussion for Coconut Shell and also a part in recommendation Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nudina Alina Binti Shaharin. I will present about result and discussion PET and also a part of recommendation. Uh, I will present about the introduction of our review. So, concrete is the most commonly used man-made material on earth. It's an important con construction material used extensively in building, bridge, road, and dam. It used range for structure application to curbs, pipes, and drain. Concrete strength value are usually specified as the lower bound compressive strength of either the cylinder or cubic specimen as determined by standard test procedure. Different mix of concrete ingredients produce different strengths. This day, coconut shell turning out to be not kidding waste removal issue to the green condition where coconut shell are to a great extent richly accessible and compassing. Most of the world PET creation in for manufactured strength with bottle creation of the worldwide demand. PET is commonly utilized according to bungling. PET in its normal state is luxter semi crystalline set. So the problem statement of our review is number one the continuous use of natural material in coarse aggregate and fine aggregate such as natural stone and sand will lead to ecological imbalance number two is the demand for concrete is increasing due to rapid growth of construction especially in urban place so number three the percentage of waste material such as coconut shell and PET plastic bottle is high in our country especially during festival season. So our objective of our review is number one to discuss the effectiveness of coconut shell as a cost aggregate and PET bottle as a fine aggregate in concrete mixture. To purpose alternative material for construction is number two of our objective so scope and our limitation is this review study focuses on concrete product made from coconut shell as a cost aggregate and PET bottle as a fine aggregate so number two is the purpose of this review study is to promote to use coconut shell and PET bottle as a construction material to make a low cost concrete so our review significant is as the expectation for this discussion is firstly manage to fulfill the first objective which is to discuss the combination between coconut shell as a cost aggregate and PET bottle as a fine aggregate to produce concrete. This discussion has in own significant to achieve the desired objective with a reduced waste material such as coconut shell and plastic bottle to create new properties in construction. So this, there are three steps of this review process. Step number one is uh, it is the editing verification section participation keyword being used to retrieve article and journal of the database so step number two is identify the relevant studies including published and unpublished work 
with an empathy to be as a broad as possible. Step number three is consider the full article summarized are not supposed to be representative of the entire article, not capture the full scope of the article. The keyword and searching information strategy in the inclusion. So for the database is the Google Scholar and Sign Direct that we use. The keyword that we use is concrete PET or coconut shell or PET or coconut shell. So the exclusion criteria that we use is for the literature type is exceed journal. We only use uh, the journal research. So the language that we use is only English or Bahasa Malaysia. So the timeline that we use is between 2010 until present. So the index that we use is Social Science Citation Index. From the journals that had been reviewed, it was found that generally, as coconut shell replacement percentage increase, the value of compressive split tensile and flexural strength of concrete decrease. If coconut shell is used as partial replacement for both coarse aggregates and fine aggregates, the strength of concrete reduce when compared to concrete that use coconut shell as partial replacement of coarse aggregates only. Strength of coconut shell concrete with 20 to to 25% fly ash as partial replacement of cement is lower than concrete with coconut shell only. However, if we use fly ash as an addition in concrete, it can improve the strength of coconut shell concrete and coconut shell with coir fibers concrete. Using 30% quarry dust as fine aggregates with coconut shell as cost aggregate replacement in 10%, 20%, and 30% show strength values higher than the conventional concrete. The optimum mix with the highest compressive strength is 20% coconut shell and 30% quarry dust. Lastly, the addition of polypropylene fibers and steel hook end fibers at 2% by weight of concrete can increase the strength of coconut shell concrete. Okay, this graph shows the improvement of coconut shell concrete and coconut shell with coil fibers concrete after adding fly ash. As we can see, the improvement of strength for coconut shell and coil fibers is more than the improvement of strength for coconut shell only. Okay, next, uh, this chart shows the effect of coir dust in coconut shell concrete. We can see that the mix that has the highest split and size strength is for, for the mix with 20% coconut shell and 30% quarry dust. Okay, lastly, this chart shows how fibers can improve the strength of coconut shell concrete. Okay, we can see that coconut shell with polypropylene and coconut shell with steel fiber has compressive strength higher than the concrete with coconut shell only. Okay, now for the result of PET. The researcher found out the increase of percentage partial replacement of PET in concrete mixture, it will reduce the strength of concrete. Uh, normally, the percentage as partial replacement in concrete mixture is 0% as a normal concrete mixture, uh, 5%, 10%, 15%, and also 20%. Other alternative, the researcher also used super plastic sizer. It is because they found out that by using 50% of replacement super plastic sizer in concrete mixture design, it can increase the compressive strength of concrete. Next, by using PET fiber of 0.5% and also 1.0%, it can achieve higher compressive strength compared to control specimen, which is 0% of replacement. Next, 
uh, this graph shows the decrease of compressive strength uh, due to the increase of percentage replacing PET in the concrete mixture. Next, uh, this one shows uh, concrete mixture without super plastic sizer. And also, this one shows the compressive strength of concrete mixture with super plastic sizer. There are a few factors that cause concrete strength reduction due to coconut shell replacement as coarse aggregates. First, there is not enough bond between coconut shell particles and cement paste because coconut shell are rough on one side and smooth on other side. Coconut shell also has more water resorption than conventional aggregates, so extra water are added to the concrete mix to compensate water absorption of coconut shell particles. The continuous presence of water prevents good bond, thus more cement is required for proper bonding, but it is not economical. The integration of too much coconut shell will produce harsher mix, which cause difficulties to produce dense concrete. A non-dense concrete will cause a reduction of strength to the concrete. Lastly, the strength of coconut shell concrete can be increased by adding admixture like fly ash. Discussion part for PET. As we know, the increase of PET as partial replacement will reduce the strength of concrete. Okay, the reason uh, is because the weak cohesive bonding between waste plastic aggregate and mortar paste, PET has a smooth form and size and it is easy to fold into any shape. Uh, next, PET has many void form lower uh, due to lower adhesion. The second point is PET fiber can increase the compressive strength up to certain limit. Uh, the researcher found out that 15% uh, PET fiber replacement is reason reasonable to achieve the compressive strength and, and it also PET fiber can help to reduce the weight of concrete. For the conclusion of our review is the uses of natural material in concrete mixture lead to ecology imbalance. Hence, other alternatives can replace natural material in producing concrete. In this study, focus more on coconut shell and PET. The results show the reasonable percentage can be a partial replacement in coarse aggregate and also fine aggregate in concrete mixture. It can help to reduce environmental problem in the future. Some recommendation to improve strength of concrete is by using 2% of PET fibers. PET fibers can help to increase the compressive strength of the concrete. In addition, plastic fibers along with steel fibers can be used to improve the strength of concrete more compared to by using PET alone in the concrete mixtures. Next, we also can improve strength of concrete by enhancing the bonding between coconut shell particles and cement paste. To enhance the bonding, we must make the ratio between the lateral dimension of coconut shell particles and thickness of coconut shells be nearly equal to 1 and using water reducing admixture to reduce water to cement ratio. Other than coconut shell and PET, we also can use fly ash, blast furnace slag, quarry dust as a aggregate to substitute in the concrete mixture.